Welcome to this tutorial video. The goal of this video is to give you an overall tour of the Online Learning Center. Start by navigating to the Learning Center's URL learning.goodex.co.za. You can choose to log in as a guest or as a recognized user. Take note that as a guest user, there will be limitations to some of the features available in the Learning Center. To log in as a recognized user, type in your username and password provided by Goodex. Once you're done, click on the Login button. You will then be navigated to the home page. On the home page, you will find the bookcase, menus, and additional information. The menus will contain information on current courses, joining webinars on our YouTube channel, learning center updates, as well as information about our trainings. Underneath the bookcase, you will find additional information such as the Learning Center Tutorial Videos playlist, printing manuals, new features in a nutshell, and other handy information. The bookcase is the main focus and will help you easily navigate in the Learning Center's books and manuals. Notice that the bookcase is divided into sections, headings, icons, and colors which will assist in your navigation. The specific books are divided according to their specific business process diagrams. Hover over the icons at the top to easily differentiate between the types of books as they will be highlighted. Glossary books will include terminology, functions, shortcuts, roadmaps and links. Navigating into a glossary book and then Goodex Healthcare Glossary, you will find its glossary entries. The glossary entries are cross-referenced in the user manuals. Guideline books will tell you what to do in your practice and why you do it. Navigating into the guidelines book, you will find a small introduction and then the guideline book slash books. For general guidelines, one can find the healthcare practice management and internal controls books. Clicking on either of these books, you will be directed to its first page. Throughout the book's pages, the table of contents with its appendixes will be on the left-hand side of the screen. To navigate to a specific user manual, start by going to the bookcase on the home page. Click on the relevant book under the correct section slash heading in the bookcase. In the book, you will find the critical business process diagram, headings, roles responsible, webinar links, user manual links, and tutorial videos. Each section of the process diagram is set as headings. As an example, under the appointment setting, you'll find the roles responsible, the webinar link, and all the current user manual links. The user manual links cover each function that falls under the specific heading slash section. To read the user manual or to watch the tutorial video, Click on the relevant user manual link. Quite simply, the user manuals will show you how to use the function in Goodex. The glossary entries has been cross-referenced into the user manuals through a glossary button. The glossary button will help you understand the purpose of the function, how you navigate to the function in the system and so much more. Similar to the glossary button is the settings button. The settings button will indicate that there are settings that need to be set up in order to enable the function slash features user manual you're currently in. Another similar button is the related button. Click on the related button to see any other user manuals that are related to the one you're currently in. The related button can indicate steps that you need to do before or after the current user manual.
Next, you might see a tutorial video about the function of which the video has been embedded from our YouTube channel. Simply click on the video to start watching it and click on the full screen button if you wish to watch the video in full screen mode. Finally, the step-by-step -step instructions with screenshots will follow. Lastly, for those who have registered for GoodX's online courses, you will be enrolled for a course's content. This will include printable course material, video series, a questionnaire and feedback form, as well as takeaway documents. Take note that a different login is required to access online courses, which is provided once a participant has registered for the respective course. These logins are set per online course, so keep an eye out for new courses. For more information and to register for online courses, visit our website and navigate to the training tab and select online courses.